Hi everyone. This time I wanted to do a video about learning how to trust a new partner. And I think that there are some practical things that you can take a look at, but also I think there's one key foundation and ingredient to that. I think the key foundation and ingredient for learning how to be open and trusting with a new partner is when you are start learning how to establish and become deeper rooted in your own trust with yourself, as well as for some people whose belief system is wired up that way, in a higher power, a God or a universe or spirit, whatever you call it, right? Because when you already are seated really deeply in this trust, in a foundation place, then you're always coming from a place of trust. So it makes it easier to be more consciously aware of opening yourself up and giving yourself an opportunity to receive other people, connect other people, and view them in a perspective that comes from a place that's more trusting and loving, just naturally. I think that for some people that have had trust issues in the past, in past experiences, it's very important to remember that every new relationship needs to be a clean slate. So you cannot be holding this new current partner to standards, to scrutiny of that which you had for other partners because of things that they maybe have done. I think that as you become more trusting of your own instincts, of your own perception, of possibly your own faith, then these things become easier because it, it, it's easier to believe that someone is in your life if that is something that you can truly in your gut get into, right? I think that it is easier to be trusting of a new relationship when you know that when your internal bells go off, it's not out of fear. It's not out of past experiences which are creating a level of mistrust that this person maybe doesn't even deserve, but that it's truly because of this person doing something that is truly a red flag or really is a violation of trust. And I think that we can kind of start to evaluate their behaviors based on things like how consistent are they? Do they often say and do the same thing? Or is this somebody that is constantly making promises, constantly apologizing for something, and then is never really following through, right? It's constantly saying, absolutely, I'm making you a priority in my life, but then constantly canceling plans to be able to go out with a buddy or let it, just letting something else come through. So, and, and, and disrupt whatever plans maybe you have made. Is this something where you've pointed out to someone that you don't feel like they fight fair or that maybe they are jealous or overreactive or responding to something that you've said or done out of a place of insecurity and they keep telling you, you're right, I'm going to do better, I'm going to do better, and they're not. So I think this whole matching up of what someone says and does with consistency is a great way to be able to evaluate, does this person really deserve my trust? Should I be giving them my trust? Obviously, if there's a, a pattern with this particular partner, not past partners, but this particular partner where you have caught them, you know, texting with other people, talking with other people, meeting with other people, and then lying to you about it or hiding it from you, even if they really aren't doing anything wrong, right? Like, even if it's just that, I'm a girl, so I'm going to use a guy as an example. Even if it's just that the guy that I'm seeing right now happens to tell me, oh, you know what, I think I'm going to just stay in tonight. And really, you find out that they went with their buddies. And that he just didn't want to tell you that he was going out with his buddies because he was worried you were going to be mad. 
So there's actually multiple things there, right? Like, why did why does he have a fear around your reaction to saying, I need to be able to go out with my friends? Is it because he's always going out with his friends and he's neglecting your relationship because he's not making time to go out with you, but he seems to make time with them? Or is he having trouble being honest with you because he's clearly experiencing some kind of trust issue with you? So either way, when somebody's hiding flags, even hiding things, even if it's not that they're actually doing anything wrong, there's a deeper trust level there going on. So is this person also giving you the trust that they're asking of you or that you're wanting to give to them, but they just have these behaviors that just keep, you know, kind of undermining any progress you make in learning how to be more open and more forgiving with them. I think the opposite side of this is that some people have a history of being too trusting and too forgiving and accepting of mistakes and allowing of things. And this is not really any better than being so closed off that you can never give trust, right? So I think that it then also comes down to you learning how to be able to establish and own your own trust in the fact that you are worthy and valuable and deserve to have a partner that is going to treat you the way that you want to be treated. And at the root of that is really right back to trust, right back to self-trust, right back to trust in the divine spirit, God, whatever you call it. Um, we have to have belief that the things that are being established for us and showing up for us in our life are for our own better good. Now, if you were being shown over and over and over again that you should be ending this relationship and you should be leaving, then you're not establishing and honoring the trust you have in this higher, greater divine power that is trying to work for you in your life. Now you're fighting against that. So this is really quick, really short, hopefully condensed. I hope it helps. If you could really use an inside look at this new relationship in being able to kind of look under the hood and see where it's going, if this is a good match or not, from an intuitive perspective, you can always reach out to me. DM me at, at Sierra Intuitively Knows on Facebook or Instagram, or else you can message me at the Facebook B plus one. And of course, you can always reach out if you would like to have some coaching and work on these issues as well. All of these things are going to help you get to a place of being in a situation where you have a plus one. All right, everyone. Have a great night.